If you are having issues with your ZV-1 where it looks like this when you start video, but then you press record and it crops in like that, this is a video for you. You know what is the actual worst? Getting a camera and not knowing how to really use it and then getting frustrated because it's not doing what you want it to. That was me for about six months of using this Sony ZV-1. My name is Brooke and I'm a documentary filmmaker turned coffee shop owner here in Bentonville, Arkansas. I love storytelling, I love creating, I love spreading joy. So this is another part of like me sharing things that I like to do and um, I like to do good and I like to stay curious. So if you're curious and trying to figure out your camera equipment, I typically shoot um, with the Sony a7 III. Um, I do really love this camera if I'm doing photography or if I'm going out to shoot different documentary um, style work that I need kind of a run and gun video for. Right now, I want to do more vlogging and sharing and I want a compact camera. Sometimes I use the GoPro. I've been using the Sony ZV-1. I am not a brand affiliate for Sony, so this is not sponsored. I just like using their products. However, I've been really frustrated with the Sony ZV-1 for a while because every single time I would start to vlog, especially whenever I hold it up like this, and I start, it would crop in. It wasn't until I just played around with it for a little bit that I realized how easy it is to change that. This is for all of y'all who don't wanna go through a long-winded tutorial on how to change this and just wanna get down to the facts. I'm here for you, let's get it started. This is the Sony ZV-1. I have a really cute yellow camera case that I like on it. It's a little bit grippier. This camera is my best friend. I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna be talking to it. I want it to look cute, so that's why it's yellow. First things first, you're gonna go to menu. That's on the right hand side of your camera. And you're gonna click on shoot mode. Make sure that you're under shoot mode. And then you might see a couple different settings. You'll see manual, you'll see aperture priority, you might see shutter speed priority. We are looking for the two video specific presets. So in shoot mode, we're gonna select intelligent auto for the video component. This one I think is the best, the Intelligent Auto. It keeps it really easy and streamlined for you. As a vlogger, you mostly just wanna capture the day to day. You wanna have good frame, portrait style. You want a little bit of the blur in the background with your aperture. And it's just gonna be easier overall. So go ahead and click on Intelligent Auto. Please be mindful that if you do have it on this setting, whenever you wanna do photos, you are gonna to have to change that setting again. I like to have it on manual, but if you would like an auto one, aperture setting, it, aperture priority is a really good one. If you do a lot of um, action photography, then you might wanna look at shutter priority, but just make sure that you know whenever you go from photo to video, you will have to change that setting. Super easy, you just go to menu, shoot mode, and then you change on the dial, you change the setting. So happy shooting. I. I'm looking forward to see more of your videos. If you wanna like tag your channel below and, and see what you're creating with your Sony ZV-1. And if you have any questions, I'm still figuring out this camera, if I like it or not. I might do a full review of it to see the pros and cons of shooting with it. But as of right now, I do really love how compact it is and how quickly it records and the battery life is pretty good too. All right, happy shooting.